guys, I have decided that today enough is enough. I am going to be going into 2023 with my dream wardrobe. To be honest, this has been a very spontaneous decision, but it feels right. Basically, my vision, okay, is that I'm going to start by thrifting my dream wardrobe. I'm going to look for things secondhand, and then anything I can't find secondhand, I can buy it brand new. So I feel like we're off to a good start. And honestly, the new year is such a good time to go in and find a new style, start off fresh, we're closing a chapter, we're opening a new one. Now, in an ideal world, I would have planned what my dream wardrobe is going to look like, made a Pinterest vision board, nailed down my aesthetic, noted down every single thing that I needed to get. I have not done that, but I do have some sort of plan for today. Okay, hear me out. So when I find something today thrifting and I try it on, I'm going to be asking myself, do I feel hot, confident, and cool in this piece? Because they are the three words that I'm going to be focusing on with my outfits in 2023. When I put an outfit on, I want to feel cool, confident and hot and if i'm being completely honest i definitely have an idea of things that i need to get like things that my wardrobe are missing purely from trying to find outfits throughout this year and past years and having full-on mental breakdowns and crying and not wanting to go to events so yes this has been a spontaneous idea but we have a plan like it's a loose plan but i think it's a good plan because you know what you never really know what you're gonna find in the thrift store anyway i also already have my accessories down pat which does lead me to the sponsor of today's video which is Anna Luisa. If you guys have been around here for a while, you will know that I absolutely love this brand. I have worked with them so many times. The thing about them is that they never miss. Okay, so not only do they have the most iconic high quality pieces ever, like look at some of their jewelry. It is absolutely stunning. They ensure that every single piece is priced fairly and produced ethically. They are 100% water and carbon neutral. And what strikes me the most is that they use recycled materials when they can. I think when it comes to sustainability, a lot of people feel like like if they're not being 100% sustainable, that there's no point of even trying. But small changes can make such a difference. It's one of the main reasons why I want to try and thrift my dream wardrobe before just buying brand new pieces. Okay guys, so these are some of the new pieces I've gotten from Anna Luisa. I think they are great pieces that I could wear every day, but also showcase some personality. As you can probably tell from these clips, I am 100% a necklace girl. I love stacking different necklaces together and they have so many good ones that you can choose from. Look at this lock. I feel like this is so cool. I am so obsessed with it. I've been wearing it every single day since I got it. Oh my God, guys, you could even get this key necklace for one friend and then you could have the lock or vice versa and it could be like a best friend necklace situation. That would be so cute. Also this Scorpio necklace, dude, they have one for every single star sign and I think this would be such a good present for a friend who was into astrology. Or for yourself, you know what? Let's normalize getting yourself a Christmas present because you deserve something too. So if you guys want to twin and get any of the pieces that I have or just any piece in general, you can use my discount code. I will put it up on the screen, but it is BethG20 for 20% off. They are also running their December holiday sale, which is buy one, get one 50% off. So now is definitely the time to grab something. If you were thinking of getting something, they also definitely have some great gift options. I will have a link in the description box of this video to their website, but let's get going. Let's get thrifting and see what we can find. Okay, so the first suburb that we have come to is Richmond. There is one store here that we really want to go to. So basically what I'm looking for today are spray jackets or any kind of unique jacket because I feel like they can really spice up an outfit. Oversized t-shirts, baby tees, basically any kind of graphic tee. But we are going in with an open mind. We will see what we can get. We'll see what we can find. Let's go to store one. Okay, let's go into this Selvos. This store was quite large, but what I like to do is search each section at a time so I'm not overwhelmed. I forgot to mention before, I'm also looking for pants. So that's where Cal and I started. Now I love a baggy or looser fit for pants, which makes them such a great item to thrift. And guys, I found so many good pairs to try on here. Not these ones, oh my God, they are giving 2010 for real. I found these shiny ones as well and thought I could make them work, but looking back, I'm so glad I didn't get them because they are not the vibe for me. And today is all about getting stuff that makes me feel confident, hot, and cool. Now I'm not about putting a gender label on clothes, 
ladies, but at thrift stores, there's ladies and menswear. So we also check out the men's pants section. I personally love the men's section at thrift stores more, so don't sleep on sussing out both ladies and men's sections. Okay, I'm in the fitting rooms now. I'm gonna try on a bunch of pants. I feel like the best thing to do is search by section and then try that section on and move to the next one. Otherwise, you just end up with way too much stuff and it's so overwhelming. It's hard to see with this lighting, but these are a brown pair of pants. I love the fit of these so much. As soon as I put them on, I was like, yes, I am 100% getting these. To be honest, I wasn't instantly sold on these green pants, but they were so comfortable. And I'm thinking with like a Doc Martin or loafer, these would look iconic. But these ones, I feel like they're a vibe. I do like them, but they were a bit too big. And I knew they would just be one of those things that I bought, but I wouldn't end up wearing because they didn't fit right. These are the cord pants I showed you before. The camera is not doing them justice, but they are iconic. They fit me perfectly and I just love a cord moment. So spoiler, these ones we are definitely getting. Now these pants I found in the men's section and dude, I am obsessed with these. I think these are my favorite pants that I found at the store. I love the fit. I love the color. I love the vibes they give off. I feel like these are cool girl pants. I don't know if that makes sense, but these are a 10 out of 10 for me. Oh good God. Welcome to Jim's warehouse. <laughs> So next up, we went back out and started searching through all the other sections. To be honest, we really didn't find anything. Like, look at these skirts. None of them were really hitting the mark for me. But that's okay. We still have three more stores to go to today. Guys, we got so many good finds. Okay, guys, we have just driven to Fitzroy. If you're not from Melbourne, Fitzroy is a very alternative, trendy suburb. I honestly love it here so much. They always have, like, the coolest stores, bars. They just really have it all. So let's see what we can find here. Okay, let's head into this next Salvo's. So straight away we headed to the men's shirt section. I really wanted to find a graphic oversized tee, but I unfortunately had no luck. Next up was jackets. We found this iconic ski jacket, which is a similar vibe to what I want in terms of cool jackets, but she was insulated and definitely not made for casual wear. Looking back, I wish I got these sweaters. The fit on both of them was absolutely awful, but they are both so iconic. Moving on to women's cardigans. Guys, I found this cardigan. This is the exact standard out cool piece I was talking about in the car. Similar to a statement jacket, right? I feel like you can wear this with blue jeans and a white crop top and bam, you look cool with minimal effort. I wasn't 100% sold on the cut. I do wish it was a bit baggier, but you know what? You take what you can get when you're thrifting. To be honest, we weren't having much luck here in general, but we did find these sunglasses. I wish Cal got the ones he's wearing. They suit him so much. But the ones that I tried on are the exact type of sunglasses I have been wanting for so long and I am in love. Okay, we didn't really find much at that store. I found one cardigan, Cal found a jacket, but I found these sunnies. And they're so f***ing cool. I'm obsessed with them. Okay, this thrift store is really cool. It literally has this old bus in the middle of it. I just love the vibes here. They even have this lucky dip type section where you basically just rummage through this pile of clothes and see what you can find. Now, in terms of sections, everything is in a section, but it's kind of mixed together a bit. So we just went rack by rack instead of section by section, if that makes sense. But I did find some goods. This shirt is so f sick. Same as the last cardigan. I think you can just throw it on with a basic fit and look cool. This was a random find, but I think this is perfect for hiking. And this is also why I never go in with a plan of what I'm going to find because you never know what you will find. Okay. I really like this white turtleneck. It's such a good staple piece to lock in now before winter comes. But this skirt, oh my God, it is a no from me. I feel like this fit is giving 2012. And last but not least, we went to another Salvos in Carlton. I was honestly exhausted by this point and wanted to go home, but I'm so glad I pushed through because I found so much stuff. Not the YOLO top, oh my God. But I love the fit and color of this cardigan. Now this top was so cute. I think it's such a good staple, but it had a rip in it. So I was torn on whether to get it or not. I love this baby tee. It's giving inside out vibes, but I kind of love that about it. But guys, look what I found. A crop graphic tee. Dude, the fit on this is everything. I was so happy when I found this. I think I tried on more and didn't film it, but lastly, we have this cardigan. I love this. I love the fit of it. It's exactly what I wanted in that last cardigan that I showed you guys. I love the slouch. I love the colors, the vibes. It's iconic. Guys, look how much stuff we got. Okay, so it's been a week now since I went thrifting and got all of that stuff. And when I got home that day, I was like, I don't feel like I really got much. Like I knew I'd found some awesome pieces, but I was like, I don't even 
even know if I have enough to make a haul. Why is the camera not? Look at that. Stunning. I love this backdrop. But I never placed the camera in the right spot. Not the drink bottle. But tell me why I didn't think I had enough stuff to make a haul. Now looking at it a week later, I'm like, damn. We actually found so much good stuff. Should I show you store by store or section by section like pants, cardigans? This does seem like something I should have thought of during the past week before I started filming. Let's do section by section because even though things are from different stores, they're all going in the same wardrobe anyway, you know? Oh, but when I show you things from each section, I'll tell you what store I got them from. Look how I figuring it out. Okay, let's start with pants. I was after some baggy, looser fitting pants. I just feel like they are such good pieces to have in your wardrobe. You can wear any pant with a white crop top and look cool. Maybe it's just me, but I stand by that. Okay, first up are these brown pants that I got from the first store. So these are high-waisted. I could almost wear them low-waisted as well, which is why I love them so much. They have this yellow kind of fleck in them. Now in terms of brand, price, all that fun stuff, these are from David Lawrence. They are made in Australia, which is really cool. They are a size 12, which is why they are a bit of a looser fit on me. I don't know if they were actually made to be loose. It looks like they were made to be a kind of straight leg. I don't know. I'm really bad of knowing what pants styles are what. <laughs> and they were $13, which is a bit on the higher price range for a thrift store. But overall for a pair of pants that is definitely affordable and I will get a lot of use out of these. Now next up that I tried on at the store were these green pants. So these are a high waist fit, but they're very loose and straight leg. Is that right? I feel like I don't know what I'm talking about. But the main reason that I got these is because they are so comfortable and the color is stunning. And yeah, like I mentioned in the fitting room, I feel like I could wear these with a Doc Martin with a loafer and they would look really cool. They don't have a brand on them, but they were $9. I feel like that is a really good price. They are such good quality. You can just feel it. You know when you buy something and you can just feel that the quality is good. That is the ultimate vibes. I really did just find a lot of pants on this thrifting adventure. But like I said, I really needed them. So I'm happy about it. Now, obviously I've already told you, but guys, I got the white cord pants. I can't believe I found these. I have had these on my want list. The list that belongs in my head. It's not actually written down for so long now. And the fit of these is everything that I've ever wanted in my life. The only thing about these is they do have a stain on them. Yeah, there's a yellow stain. I don't know if you'll be able to see on camera on the leg here, but I'm determined to get it out. Now these also don't have a brand. Oh wait, they do have a brand on it. These are from Uniqlo. Okay, and they don't have a size. Oh, they do have a size. I should have just looked properly. These are from Uniqlo and the size is nine. And in terms of pricing, these were $9 as well. I feel like $9 is a really good price for a pair of pants, especially because imagine these brand new, these would have been like 50 or $60. Not that I've ever shopped at that shop. I'm just assuming that would be the price. And then lastly from that store, I got these green pants. I guess these are more of like a green gray army kind of color. Now, what I like about these is that one, they fit both me and Cal so we can share them. But two, I can wear them high-waisted and low-waisted. And the only reason I can wear them both ways is because they are too big for me. But like I said, I love a baggy or looser fit and I feel so cool when I wear these. There's just something about them. As soon as I put them on, I was like, I feel cool. I feel hot. I feel confident. And I feel like I would wear them so many times. Now these are from the brand Riggs Pants. And in terms of sizing, they are an 82R. I guess that's 82 regular. But they are so so sick and these were nine dollars as well i know i say this about every piece but can you just imagine these with a white crop top Okay, and lastly for pants, I think I got these from the last store that we went to, but these are a high-waisted checker print gray pant. The only thing that I slightly dislike about these pants is the waist. I'm not a big fan of a stretchy waist. I prefer when there's a zip and a button, but I do still love these and I feel like I will get a lot of wear out of them, mostly because they are so comfortable and I know that I always gravitate towards comfier pieces. I love the fit on these a lot and the pattern is so cool as well. What makes me laugh is that these are from Black Pepper. I don't know if they have this brand overseas, but if you're from Australia, you will know, especially rural Australia. I feel like in my hometown growing up, there was a Black Pepper and it's usually for like older people, like people who are like 50, 60 and above, I think. Not me just probably offending everyone ever. <laughs> I'm not saying the pieces are bad. I'm just saying that's the demographic they usually shop there. But these are sick. So pop off Black Pepper. I'm actually so happy these are in my life. Now these were a size 14. I think 
these are pretty small for a size 14. For context, I usually wear a size 8 to 10. And I wouldn't say these fit me perfectly, but they're not super baggy. But that's the thing with women's sizing. I feel like it's so inconsistent. But these were $7 as well. So definitely a good price for them. Now moving on to tops. So what I really wanted to find was oversized tees, baby tees, and graphic tees. To be honest, the thrift stores that I went to really didn't have much of a variety of these. I feel like every other time that I've gone thrifting, there has been so many t-shirts to go through, especially in the men's section. But I don't know, there really wasn't many around, maybe because it's already summer. People have already like snatched up the good ones. So I definitely didn't have as much luck as I was hoping to or kind of thinking that I would, but I did find some stuff. Now let's start with long sleeve tops. You may be thinking, girl, it is summer in Melbourne, but if you know Melbourne, you know that it is basically winter here as well. Also, now I have it for next winter, and if you didn't already know, Cal and I are in the process of moving back to Canada, so I will need all the warm clothes I can get. So, first up is this white turtleneck. This is such a good staple basic piece to have in a closet. I feel like you can wear it with jeans, you could wear it with pants, you could even wear it with like a dress or pinafore over the top. It's just a good staple. And this one was super comfortable in terms of brand pricing, you know, the vibes. This is actually from Glassons. That's the thing about thrifting as well. You always can find so many branded things there. So this is from Glassons. It is an extra small. It definitely has a lot of room though because typically with tops, I always have to size up because I do have a larger chest. But this one fits perfectly. And this was $6 and I can guarantee you it was never $6 at Glassons. <laughs> See, I feel like this would be a cute outfit already. You know what I mean? Okay, next is this. I don't even know what you call it when it's not a full turtleneck. Is it like a half? turtleneck. I don't know, but it's this long sleeve top. I was torn on this at the store, and I know I said I was only going to buy things that made me feel hot, confident and cool, but like I think we've kind of already established you do need basics in your wardrobe. But now that I'm looking at this, damn, this is iconic. Like, I'm so glad that I got this. Same as the white turtleneck before, right? You can wear it with jeans, you can wear it with pants, with a dress over the top. It's super versatile, and the quality on this feels really good. Now, this is the brand Perfect Stranger. I feel like I've heard of that before. Have you guys heard of that before. It is a size 8 and this was $7 which I think is a really good price for a turtleneck like this or a half turtleneck. <laughs> so moving into more t-shirts rather than long sleeve tops, I found this baby tee at the last thrift store that we went to. Now this has a very inside out type of vibe. Like I think if I wear this someone's going to come up to me on the street and be like is your top inside out? But I really like it. I think it is so cool. It's like it could be a basic piece but they They've added that detail and it's made it more of a statement piece. A statement basic. Is that contradictory or is that a thing? I think this is a statement basic and if you get it, you get it. Now this is from ASOS and it is a size 8 and guys, this shirt was only $3. That is the kind of pricing I love to see in a thrift store. I think this is really cute. I'm excited to wear this. And last but not least, you guys already know, I found this oversized cropped tee. This is probably my new favorite thing ever in my wardrobe. I love the graphic pattern on the front. I love that it's old and washed and it's cracked. It gives it that real like vintage feel. I love the color of the top. I love the color of the pattern. But the fit on this top, this is the perfect cropped tee. It just sits so nicely. This is how I expect every cropped tee to fit. But you know the vibes when you try one on and it's like, is this... This is just not, it's not it. So I'm so happy that I found this and this was also $3. So this is probably my favorite find of the day. And when you click on my vlogs, I'll probably always be wearing this, especially if it's an at-home vlog because it's really cool. Now this has a tag on it, but look how old and ratted it is. You cannot see any details on this. There's no brand, there's no size. But yeah, like I said, $3, such a good find. And I found this at the last store that we went to. Now I didn't have any luck finding statement jackets. Like I told you, I love finding a jacket that has, I guess, like a personality to it and is a statement, right? You can wear it with a basic outfit that makes the outfit complete. I think I'm realizing that is my vibe when it comes to fashion. It's basic with one statement. I'll summarize it as easy cool. Like easy cool is my style, it's my aesthetic. Oh my God, I kind of hate that and love it at the same time. Anyway, I didn't find any jackets, but I did find some really cool cardigans. Actually, first up, let's get this one piece out of the way. I guess this is kind of a jacket slash jumper, but I found this at the second thrift store that we went to. It's this fleecy material. It is so comfy. It is so warm. And yeah, like I told you guys, I feel like this is perfect 
vibes for hiking. I think I have the same vibe for hiking as I do for my outfits in general, right? Basic hiking outfit, cool jacket, makes it easy cool. So I'm very excited to wear this, especially in Canada. Oh my god, guys, guess what brand this is? The brand is Cools Club. I can't, not after what I just said about easy cool. I need to Google that, Cools Club. Have you ever heard of it? Anyway, it's a size 8. This was $15, which is a bit on the pricier end of a thrift store, but I know I will get so much use out of this. And if I know that I'm going to get so much use out of something, I don't mind paying a bit more for it. So a random find, I definitely wasn't actively looking for this, but I'm very happy I found it. I think you guys knew I was going to get this, but I got this oversized corduroy burgundy maroon shirt. I love this so much. The fit of it is cool. The color is cool. I love cord. This is just a really sick piece in my opinion. And Kel and I have agreed to share it because we both tried it on and we're like, that always happens with Cal and I. We always end up sharing like jackets and jumpers and stuff. Now we found this at the third thrift store that we went to. The brand is Lands End. It is an extra large and it was $25. Definitely on the pricier end. But like I said, if I know I'm going to get continuous use out of it, I don't mind paying a bit more. It is so much better to spend more money on a piece that you know you're going to wear than spend that same amount of money on multiple cheap pieces that you're not going to wear. So it may sound like I'm just justifying the price, but I truly do believe that. And yeah, Cal and I are both gonna share this. So I'm really glad we found it. Okay, next up is this cardigan I found at the second store. I don't really know how to describe this. I guess it's just an oversized cardigan with a funky pattern. I love the colors on it and I love a knitted cardigan. Now I already told you guys I wasn't 100% sold on the fit of this cardigan. I wanted it to be a bit baggy or a bit looser, but I still felt so cool when I tried it on. So I knew that I had to get it and I'm thinking maybe I've even cropping it or is that a bad idea. Comment below if you think it would be a good or bad idea to crop this. Now it doesn't have a brand or a size on it but this was $9. Honestly it seems like $9 is just a very common price for things at thrift stores. I'll pay $9. I'll pay it. We're at nine times since paid itself. Now keeping in the theme of knitted patterned cardigans, I got this cardigan from the last thrift store that we went to. So this is this grey and blue oversized cardigan. I think the detail on it in the blue is of a rose which is so cool and this cardigan has the perfect fit. I love the slouch. I love the way it's baggy. This is how I wish the other cardigan fit. This is just so sick. It doesn't have a brand or a size on it either, but this one was $11. Wait, is that a tag at the bottom? Wait guys, this is a size medium. It doesn't have a brand, but it is made in Australia, which is really cool. And then next up from the store is this green cardigan. This isn't super oversized, but I do love the fit. I think when it comes to cardigans, you have to look at how the arms fit. The arms make all the difference in my opinion. If the arms are really tight, it doesn't look as cool as it could. If the arms are baggy and loosey, that's the vibe, in my opinion anyway. But I love the color. I love the pattern that it has on it. And this is actually from Target, but like old Target. I love the tag on it. So funny. I used to work at Target ages ago. It just brings back all the memories. But this is a size 10 to 12, and I think it's really cool. And how could I almost forget these iconic sunglasses? These are this octagon shape. I think they are so cool. I literally love them so much. I don't know the brand. We did find them at the second store though, and they were only $5. Which brings today's thrifting haul to a total of $135 Australian dollars. Anyway, that is everything that I have to show you from this thrifting episode. Should we make this a series? Because it's unrealistic to find your dream wardrobe in one thrifting trip. Comment below if you want this to become a series. Also, don't forget to check out Anna Luisa. I will have the link in the description box of this video. I do have a discount code for you. It is BethG20 for 20% off and they are running their Christmas holiday sale which is buy one get one half price. If you've watched this far and you haven't subscribed you should definitely subscribe because we're basically best friends at this point. We are also so close to 10k so you should subscribe so that when we hit 10k you can be like I actually subscribed before 10k because I know that I do that with YouTubers for sure. <laughs> but I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye!